change is known to substantially influence the exchange of energy between the land surface and the atmosphere. For example, when we irrigate a field or when we reforest agricultural land, then usually more energy is transferred in the form of the latent heat flux, that is evaporation, and less in the form of sensible heat. Now, we know that more evaporation will decrease local temperatures due to the effect of evaporative cooling, but it's not clear if it would affect global temperatures because the local cooling may be compensated when the water vapor um, condens condenses elsewhere in the atmosphere and releases heat there. So um, uh, in a study led by my colleague George Ben Weiss, we wanted to see if these shifts from sensible to latent heat could actually have an effect on global climate, not merely local one. And we did so um, in an idealized study using a, a global um, climate model. In these simulations, um, we find that an increased evaporative flux indeed decreases global temperatures. The reason is that on its way through the atmosphere, the evaporative flux um, causes more formation of low clouds, and these clouds reflect more sunlight back to space, therefore cooling global climate. So our simulations suggest that um, shifts towards more latent heat, as can be caused by irrigation or by reforestation, could not only um, cool local climate, but actually global climate. Mm -hmm.